That's the caldera of a volcano, like this Yellowstone thing. We thought it was just this crazy place with hot springs. Like, no, that's a super volcano that is a continent killer. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Universal Narratives, a channel dedicated to unraveling the mysteries of the cosmos. In today's video, we'll be discussing a concerning development, a crack that has appeared on the super volcano underneath Yellowstone National Park. Scientists are warning that this crack has amplified Yellowstone's sudden eruption risk by a whopping 320%. If this eruption were to occur, it would be a catastrophe of unprecedented proportions. So, let's dive right in and uncover all the details. First, let's familiarize ourselves with some facts. We'll be venturing into the heart of Yellowstone's oldest thermal sanctuary, the Norris Geyser Basin. This blister in region is home to thermal features dating back an astonishing 115,000 years. The temperature here can reach a scorching 459 degrees Fahrenheit, just a thousand feet beneath the surface. But that's not all. Within the Norris Geyser Basin resides the Steamboat Geyser, a true testament to Yellowstone's dynamic landscape. This towering 400-foot tall geyser used to be a rare spectacle erupting occasionally with unpredictable pauses, ranging from four days to 50 years. However, in March 2018, the game changed. Steamboat Geyser now erupts as often as once a week, with a record-breaking 32 eruptions in 2018 and an astonishing 48 eruptions the following year. Could this increase in activity be linked to the 320% increase in the sudden eruption risk? Let's find out. The erratic behavior of steamboat geyser is just part of the story. Scientists are captivated by the rhythmic dance of the Norris Geyser Basin itself. Over an eight-year span from 1996, an 18-mile-long strip of land rose nearly five inches, only to dip back down by almost three inches in the following eight years. Then, out of nowhere, it surged up again at an unprecedented pace of almost six inches a year. This relentless uplift was temporarily halted by a powerful 4.9 magnitude earthquake in March 2014. Since then, the ground has oscillated between sinking and rising until 2019, when it finally began to descend. Today, the basin stands about 5 inches taller than it did in 2000. But could there be another factor contributing to the 320% increase in eruption risk? The hint lies in the term supervolcano. A supervolcano represents superdestruction. An eruption of the supervolcano under Yellowstone National Park would be unlike anything the world has ever witnessed. Despite erupting only three times in the past 2.1 million years, the Yellowstone supervolcano poses the biggest natural threat to human existence on Earth. It scores an 8 out of 8 on the Volcanic Explosivity Index. The eruption would release toxic gases, destroy crops, disrupt electricity supplies, and potentially block the sun causing insanely cold temperatures for years. According to the European Science Foundation, it would be the greatest catastrophe since the dawn of civilization. To add to the concern, cracks have started to appear in the area. In 2018, Grand Teton National Park in Wyoming had to close down due to a massive crack. This crack, along with the supervolcano's explosive potential, raises the stakes. Supervolcanoes like Yellowstone are an ultra-catastrophe that poses a threat to humanity, comparable to asteroids, nuclear warfare, or biological disasters. However, these risks are not taken as seriously as they should be. For example, the Federal Aviation Administration spends billions of dollars on aviation safety each year, even though supervolcanoes pose a far greater threat over the long term. It's important to understand the magnitude of the supervolcano lurking beneath Yellowstone National Park, Scientists have only recently gained a complete understanding of its size and the potential for a catastrophic eruption. The hidden architecture of Yellowstone was revealed by a groundbreaking study published in the journal Science in 2015. Using advanced imaging techniques and seismic data, researchers were able to create a three-dimensional map of the magma reservoir beneath Yellowstone. What they discovered was astonishing. The magma chamber beneath Yellowstone is a vast and complex system extending for miles beneath the surface. It is estimated to be about 55 miles long, 18 miles wide, and up to 6 miles deep. This enormous reservoir of molten rock fuels the geothermal activity and gives rise to the iconic geysers, hot springs, and fumaroles in the park. However, 
The study also revealed something unsettling. The magma chamber is much larger than previously thought, and it contains a significant amount of partially molten rock. This means that there is a substantial volume of magma that has the potential to erupt in a catastrophic manner. Furthermore, the study found that the crust above the magma chamber is much thinner than expected. This thin crust increases the vulnerability of the system, making it more prone to fractures and potential pathways for magma to reach the surface. The combination of a large and active magma chamber, thin crust, and the recent emergence of cracks in the area has raised concerns among scientists. While the chances of an imminent eruption are still relatively low, the 320% increase in the sudden eruption risk is a cause for alarm. Scientists closely monitor Yellowstone for any signs of increased volcanic activity, such as ground uplift, seismic activity, and changes in gas emissions. These indicators can provide valuable insights into the state of the volcano and help in predicting future eruptions. In the event of a supervolcanic eruption at Yellowstone, the consequences would be catastrophic on a global scale. The immediate area surrounding the park would be devastated by pyroclastic flows, ashfall, and lava flows, but the impact would extend far beyond the park's boundaries. The release of massive amounts of volcanic gases, such as sulfur dioxide, into the atmosphere would have severe global effects. The gases would combine with water vapor to form sulfuric acid aerosols, which could lead to a significant cooling of the Earth's surface. This could disrupt agriculture, cause widespread crop failures, and have a profound impact on global food supplies. In addition, the ash cloud generated by the eruption would travel across vast distances, affecting air travel, contaminating water sources, and posing a health hazard to humans and animals. While the scenario of a catastrophic eruption at Yellowstone is a cause for concern, it is important to note that predicting volcanic eruptions is an extremely complex and challenging task. Scientists continue to study the volcano and monitor its activity to improve our understanding of its behavior and enhance our ability to forecast potential eruptions. In the meantime, it is crucial to remain informed about the ongoing research and heed the guidance and instructions of scientific authorities and emergency management agencies in the event of any developments related to Yellowstone's volcanic activity. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey. If you enjoyed the content and want to stay connected, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. Your support means the world to us, and we can't wait to bring you more exciting videos. Join our growing community today and be a part of the adventure.